All right, what is up, guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode number seven of my Out of the Park Baseball 21 franchise here with the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, we are here at the 2021 offseason after a much improved season, but we're still, you know, a couple pieces away from making a true playoff push. So, first things first. We are going to void Ryan Braun's contract. He did not hit well at all as our designated hitter this year. And so his career in Milwaukee will be over. As far as our season goals, he's happy about our record. Although we barely were above 500. Um, wants a, doesn't think Danny Sanchez was a good enough right fielder. Um, bullpen ERA didn't get better. We didn't get a gold glove reliever. So this year he wants Brock Holt extension. That might not be happening. Improved bullpen ERA. Reached the World Series within the next two seasons. I did not see that last year. We might be in trouble on that. Anyway, as far as arbitration goes, we are going to be offering all of these guys contracts. Um, and then as far as our free agents go, Corey Kniebel, we are going to give him this pretty team-friendly three-year deal with a team option for the third. I still think he could be, a, you know, go back to his dominant form if he just doesn't even really need to get the walks con under control. It's really mostly the home runs that are concerning, as well as the Babbitt. Um, Brock Holt, I am not going to be bringing back because he offers the most defensive value at second base and right field, but I want Luis Urias to be our depth infielder this year. Um, in the middle infield because nobody wants to trade for him shockingly after the season he had last year so instead we are going to bring back marwin gonzalez he will be our corner backup infielder um on a again two-year deal with a team option for the second um he will be our depth corner infielder like i just already said and then one other thing to address before we head on into free agency, we have fired our hitting coach. We are going to hire Miles Hardy. He is a patient focus, which really helps uh, Christian Yelich, who we do need, you know, to have a big bounce back season this year, even though, you know, he didn't have a bad year by any means. 4.8 war is fantastic, but we know he can do better than that. And we've also fired our scout. I just can't stand working with guys who favor ability in the draft. So instead, we're getting Gabe Cross. He's got great scouting ratings. He favors tools. And so he will hopefully um, just make drafting a little bit easier for me. Um, that is it for re-signing our team, guys. I will be back at uh, free agency. All right, we are here at free agency. Um... I think before we get into the offers, I just want to go over kind of what I think our team needs are. First things first, um, I want a shortstop or a third baseman. I'll just put RC at whichever position we don't acquire, but I'd rather play RC at third base because his defense is a lot better there. So shortstop is kind of my first goal. First base, obviously, I don't want Marwin Gonzalez starting. Um, one pitcher in the bullpen, we currently have 13 guys. And that um, doesn't count James Norwood, but I'd like Brent Suter just to be kind of in AAA next season um, and be like our depth starting pitcher. And just in case someone gets hurt, he's the first guy that gets called up. So one reliever and then first base, shortstop, and designated hitter are our needs this offseason. So looking at free agency, immediately I see a guy I want to get, and that's Josh Bell. He is a switch hitter um, who got non-tendered, it looks like, after a kind of disappointing season with Pittsburgh, but he still put up a 106 OPS plus, and he really does not want that much money. Like, this is absolutely a deal I'd be willing to offer him, maybe with, like, a player opt-out after year three and then a team option at the end. Let's see what he thinks. About that yeah he definitely likes that so just shy of 50 million dollars total uh, we are going to offer Josh Bell to be our new first baseman 
at shortstop, there's not really a guy here I'm too interested in. Like, even a guy like Miguel Rojas wants a big contract, seven mil a season. Jose Iglesias wants a lot. Didi Gregorius wants a lot, although he had a nice season for Philadelphia last year. Um, so I think shortstop, we're going to have to figure out a way to address this later in the offseason. We're not bringing in Addison Russell. As far as um, designated hitter, kind of fifth outfielder goes, there are a couple of guys I'm interested in. Also, Jorge Soler wants $23 million a year after a okay but not great season last year. That's just... In <laughs> That's a lot. But a couple guys I'm looking at. First one is Dustin Fowler. He, or at least in last year's game, rakes for like a couple of seasons. Normally he doesn't turn into a long-term good player, but like for a season or two, he's a really good hitter. He could be our fifth outfielder along with Justin Williams, but they are both lefties. So another option is a guy I really like, um, and that's Mitch Hanniger. He hasn't been the same as his 2018 performance, but I think a bench right-handed hitter, he could potentially platoon at DH with Justin Williams or even like Danny Sanchez, depending on what our manager wants to do. And then besides the two of those, I can't think if there's anybody else Domingo Santana, maybe former Milwaukee Brewer, but the low contact and low um, strikeouts is kind of concerning. Yeah, I don't really see anybody else too interesting. So yeah, it's, I think I'm going to go with Mitch Hanniger on a one-year prove-it deal. It's not a lot of money. I think as a bench piece, it could be a really nice deal for us. And then, out of the bullpen, there's a few options. The one that's most appealing to me, well, there's two. First of all is Taylor Rogers. He's only 30, coming off a decent season. Could have been better for, for Minnesota, but he wants nothing. Like He wants a dirt-cheap contract. I could probably even throw a team option on the third year. Another option is Juan Sandoval. He is 22 years old and an international a free agent. What I don't like about him, the work ethic and intelligence are both low, and when those ratings are low, that generally means players aren't going to develop um, as both as quickly or reach their maximum potential. The movement's concerning, and the stuff isn't good enough to justify him. I mean, obviously, we're not paying him premier money, but I think I'd rather have Taylor Rogers on this like incredibly cheap contract and he is accepting that so bell hanniger and rogers are going to be our free agent acquisitions for now um i'm gonna keep looking for a shortstop or a third baseman to add actually i to be fair i did not check third base in free agency so let's do that real quick not really any Ooh, brian anderson hold on I really like Brian Anderson. He did not hit well last season, but he hit well in 2019, 2020. Could be a bounce back candidate. I am really interested in Brian Anderson. He got non tendered. He'd be super cheap. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep my options open, but I'm going to monitor Anderson. Uh, while I'm simulating off camera, if he does get an offer and I haven't found kind of a shortstop, I want to add. Because like I said, I'd rather play RC at third because he's a better defender there. But if he gets a contract, I'm going to jump on it and make sure he doesn't sign with another team while I'm looking for shortstops. So besides that, I will be back at uh, the Rule 5 draft unless something crazy happens in the next month of simulating all right we are here at the rule five draft first things first free agency updates uh we have signed taylor rogers we did have to up the contract a little bit to 
um, formula season, and it's also his birthday in this game. So happy birthday, Taylor Rogers. Um, and he is now in the newest member of the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, but a few days, come on, before that, I did go ahead and sign Brian Anderson. I just couldn't find a shortstop I really liked. So he's going to step in and be our um, our new third baseman. Now, as far as the Rule 5 draft goes, I do need, to, I want to save five guys. So I'm going to have to DFA Ronnie Rodriguez. And those guys are from Double A below C. I'm going to save Carlos Rodriguez and Micah Bello, two outfield prospects. And then from San Antonio, our Triple A team. There we go. I'm going to save pitchers Aaron Ashby, Trey Supak, and then outfielder Tristan Lutz. All right, now into the draft. Unless there's like a super high potential shortstop. Should I take another catcher in the Rule 5 draft this year? No, I shouldn't. But I might do it anyway. Anyway, let's simulate to our pick. He was taken, and we lost CJ Hinosa, a third baseman who I felt no need to keep. So uh, we swapped third baseman with Miami uh, between Brett Anderson and Hinosa. Hinosa, I. I'm never going to get it right. Just looking at middle infielders, really not a lot of potential studs here. Um, yeah, I think I'm good as far as this goes. Any pitchers we could steal? Not really. All right, so we are just going to skip our pick. Why is it not letting me? These auto draft buttons went away and it completely threw me off. But anyway, we're skipping our pick and simulating out the rule five draft. And I think we're pretty much done with moves for the off season. You know, we got Anderson. He'll be our third baseman. Uh, hopefully we'll sign Josh Bell. He will be our first baseman. Uh, Mitch Hanniger and Williams will play DH, and we got Taylor Rogers. So, yeah, I think our team is pretty much set. So, I guess I'm just going to come back um, in spring training unless something comes up along the way. But I, I'm i going to – if we get um, into a bidding war, I'm going to up the offer on Bill, up the offer on Hanniger, although I don't think Hanniger is going to get too much in terms of big contracts. And, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, at spring training. All right, so I totally, totally forgot about Hall of Fame voting results uh, when I said I'd be back by spring training. Um, Alex Rodriguez and David Ortiz both get over 90% on their first year, and so they will be Hall of Famers. Um, we have signed Josh Bell, and we have signed Mitch Hanniger. Um, speaking of Hanniger, one thing I did not realize, he's actually a reverse platoon player who hits better against righties and worse against lefties as a right-handed hitter. So, you know, we don't really have a guy on our bench who's great against lefties, but Justin Williams isn't bad. Um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to get them to platoon. My manager really wants Marwin Gonzalez to be starting. Okay. What's his, like, he's fine against lefties, but that's not great. I don't know. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and now I'll be back at the start of spring training. This time, it's for real. Here at the beginning of spring training, first thing before we simulate to the start of the season, um, we're going to take a look at some signings. So, uh, Chris Taylor gets a ch very cheap one-year deal for, with Kansas City. Evan Longoria is still in the bigs. He is going to Philadelphia. Matt Carpenter to the Dodgers. McCutcheon to the Rangers. 
I'm not going to highlight all these, I swear. Jose Martinez, who... Yeah, really could not replicate his 17-18 stretch with the Cardinals. All right, I'm just looking for big contracts at this point. James Paxton goes to the Cubs. Buster Posey is going to Atlanta. So the catcher is no longer going to be in San Francisco. Justin Verlander to the Angels. Jan Gomes gets a he Oh, I'm stupid. I read Jorge Soler's deal for Jan Gomes. Jorge Soler still gets a stupid big deal with our division rival Cubs. That makes me really happy because that's a bad contract for him. Um, 18, 19 mil a year. Craig Kimbrell to the Yankees. Robertson to Houston. Andrew Heaney to Philadelphia. This was not a loaded free agency class. John Gray to St. Louis. That's a good pickup for them. Eduardo Rodriguez to the Angels. Michael Conforto signs a $21 million season deal for seven years to go to the Dodgers. They are going to be stacked once again. That is terrifying. Zach Davies, former Brewer, goes to Seattle on a three-year deal. Andrelson Simmons gets a big contract from Philadelphia. Five years, $54 million. Roberto Osuna is also going to Philadelphia. Josh Bell is coming to Milwaukee. As Dribble Cabrera gets a lot less than he was asking for. Nice two-year deal with the Giants. Lance Lynn signs a terrible contract with Seattle. For a 45 value reliever, he signs a $55 million contract. Avisel Garcia has left our division. He is going to Atlanta. So hopefully he'll make me stop regretting that trade. Kyle Schwarber to Seattle. And um, Correa back to Houston. Ender and Ciarte to the Mets. And yeah, is um, Javi Baez still unsigned? He is. Javier Baez is demand. It can't possibly be four million, right? Mm. It would cost us a third round pick. But it would also get us Javi Baez. And we could get him for super cheap too. Oh man. That is tempting. Would he accept just a two-year deal? He would. For a third-round pick. Oh, man. I am so tempted right now. You have no idea. So, would that... Who would that kick off of our roster? Would that... I'd like to keep Anderson. Would that kick Marwin Gonzalez? I think that's who would be the odd man out there. Huh. Doesn't have good contact. Doesn't have good discipline. Doesn't have good... Avoid strikeouts. I'm going to pass on Javi Baez. It's just his ratings in this game. His only good rating is his home run power. Gap power doesn't matter. Um, His defense is good, obviously. He's a great defensive shortstop. It doesn't show. Here we go. He was really good at shortstop for the Cubs last two seasons. Is there anything that indicates he's going to bounce back? Not really. I mean, that BABIP is still pretty high. Strikeouts are 30%. Walks are at 5%. I'm not going to sign Javi Baez as much as I really, really wanted to. 
so we almost got through spring training unscathed, but not quite. Um, Drew Rasmussen is going to miss two to three weeks. Not the end of the world. He'll start the season on the DL. That's, again, we can live. We'll live. But anyway, we're here setting our uh, final roster. Uh, whoever I just sent down to AAA is getting <laughs> sent down to AAA. Thrilling analysis from yours truly. All right, we've got 16 guys, so we got to clear up three more. Easy. Easy. And then would I rather keep Suter or Norwood? I think I'd rather keep Norwood just because he's a righty and we already have three lefties in the bullpen between Berrigan, Rogers, and Hayter, so I don't think we need another. So Brent Suter will start in AAA. I'm going to have Feliciano start the year in AAA. If he's raking, he could totally be our starting catcher, you know, by May or so. Um, Jacob Nottingham is getting DFA'd. Uh, Montero's going to start in AAA. Similar situation with him and... Oh, I forgot his name. Feliciano. Easter will start in AAA. All right. I think I butchered that name. Anderson will be our starting third baseman. And then in the outfield, Rodriguez, Bello, Lutz. All going to AAA, and so will Alexander Palma, although his potential has gone up, which is really nice to see. Interesting. Hoping for a big season from him. He could be in the majors sometime. Yeah. <laughs> wow that was bad anyway this is what our team is going to look like heading into the season Kane, Arcia, Yelich, Hira, Bell, Sanchez, Hanniger, Anderson, Fridas a very right handed <laughs> offense um, which could be an issue and then starting rotation Woodruff Peralta, Ray, Burns, Boyd, Josh Hader holding it down on the back of the pen. Um, I think like last year, the offense is the biggest concern now. Um, we're looking for guys to take big steps forward like Sanchez. Um, and we're looking for guys just to get some value out of the small money deals we gave out like Gonzalez, Anderson, Hanniger are the big three. Pitching staff is going to be good excited for that this season and yeah that is going to oh wait wait i lied we're gonna check out minor leagues milwaukee is ranked 16 so just below average which i will absolutely take terang ashby hedbert perez who i do not think i brought in and eduardo garcia who i also do not think i brought in <laughs> so yeah we've got uh, still improving minor league system. And then as far as preseason predictions, we are projected same record as last year, but that is apparently going to be enough to win the NL Central. Very interesting. All right. Now that'll do it for me for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.